My name's Dave Court. My name is Motez Obedi. People know me as Motez. My name is David Mush. I'm an artist working across areas of painting, sculpture and installation. My current work is across kind of large scale mural and public artwork as well as digital and interactive installations using kind of light and projection in combination with physical and painted spaces. I am a music composer, a producer, DJ, electronic artist. Um, I have been releasing music for the last 10, 12 years. Went platinum once, which is really cool and uh, traveled the world playing my music, which is awesome. But in the last few years, I've been working also with collaborators on a bunch of audiovisual projects and even a movie score. I spread my time between my own practice and also my other two outputs, Map Studio, which is a creative studio based here in South Australia, and Harsh Realities, which is a artist collective that make large scale emotive and immersive artworks and I do that with Motez and really excited to be working on this project um, public domain with um, Motez and Dave. By day the space is an art gallery it's an ex exhibition space by night it transforms into a music focused space where the artworks interacting with the music Public Domain, the name came, came about sort of exploring the links between the digital world and the physical world and public spaces. So we wanted to bring these ideas together and create a space where people can connect, share and communicate. I'm working in a shared studio space at the moment that I'm working with a group of artists in here across a lot of different media and areas. Working with Max Braiding, who's a digital and interactive artist working across a lot of kind of live, generative, 3D and interactive artwork. Miles Dunn is a sculpture, lighting and projection artist who's doing similarly a lot of live and interactive generative art. Sean Gowdy is more of a kind of technical producer role. He's working in solving problems of interfacing between digital and physical things. We've got Michael Carney is a ceramicist and oil painter and also dabbling in a bit of VR and interactive artwork. Harry Kudlakis is a painter, mural painter and creator of uh, kind of sculptural and interactive immersive spaces. Also collaborating with a lot of musicians and performers within these creations. We've also got Olivia Stone who works in a lot of sewing and kind of fashion work and also in curation and facilitation of uh, performance across tech, art, music. And we've got Joel Van Moore, also known as Vans the Amiga, who's a public artist, mural painter and painter, and is known for running and curating festivals like Wonderwall's Port Adelaide and the Big Picture Festival. He's done a lot of work with artists from all around the world doing kind of large scale public art installations, um, as well as a lot of kind of projection mapping and projection installations and light work. A lot of us kind of have a bit of crossover with an art collective that is in the space as well called The Bait Fridge, um, which is a group of about 30 artists and performers from kind of painters, photographers. We do a lot of work in performance, costume making, sculpture making, and then also dance, movement, kind of theatre interactive things. All of us are coming together and developing a lot of different projects. One large project that we're working on at the moment and in the process of developing is called Public Domain. So the project at its core is about creating a platform for kind of South Australian artists to experiment and create these kind of large scale interactive and tech based artworks. These interactive and immersive spaces is something that has been proven to work around the world and we've been kind of looking at some case studies for this, but it's something that hasn't really been tried out to this extent in Adelaide yet. We would like to create something that is a ticketed space that people can come and visit and walk through and have it be kind of open to anyone, but at the same time being very artist focused and a bit experimental and kind of tightly curated to these kind of artists and people that are living in Adelaide but doing exciting things to an international standard. One of the main components of uh, Public Domain is the music offering. The kind of music that I would like to include as part of Public Domain are bands, musicians, producers, DJs that have a particular visual component to what they do that people can see, can experience. 
I think the main aim is not only to look outward, but to look inward and to tap into this sort of musical tapestry that we have here in South Australia and try and give the space to those artists and musicians to express themselves. So a key part of how we're thinking about public domain as a space is the transition and being able to operate as basically two different entities as daytime and nighttime because they will be kind of digital and software based installations or have a lot of digital elements to physical artworks, being able to program in time based events that would happen for this. So we can see that being a pre-programmed show that might happen at sunset or at a transitional point where it becomes a real moment that people are a part of. And if you're there, you get to experience this thing and it's a light show, it sounds, it's kind of everything happening to create a moment and a feeling and an experience to signify this changeover. At this stage, I feel like it's pretty proven and understood that these kind of tech-based immersive art spaces, there's a big audience for them around the world and there's a lot of demand for that when they emerge and I think there's a real gap for us to create something like that in Adelaide. For audiences in Adelaide that are looking to go and experience this kind of thing and also for artists here in Adelaide that are looking to create this kind of work but need an accessible space to platform and experiment and create this work and expose it to an audience. There will be a really great offering of artworks, music, and different types of artworks and different types of music. And so, you know, it gives an opportunity for people to kind of really find the thing they really like and hopefully latch onto it. And I think most importantly, we really are showcasing South Australian artists and really trying to facilitate and empower South Australian artists to present work in their own city.